New reporting from our team, Nelly, tonight on what else the U.S. wants to send to Israel, not just its support, but munitions, air defenses. That is already happening as the U.S. is surging that aid overseas. I want to bring in Courtney Kuby, who's live for us at the Pentagon. So we've been talking about this sort of um, the, the, the message that the U.S. wants to send to others in the region as well by moving apparatus closer to Israel. Talk us through it and what we should know. Yeah, so that's really the big message here, is this is about projecting power, in addition to showing that the U.S. is moving a tremendous amount of firepower and manpower uh, to the eastern Mediterranean as a show of support to Israel. But you mentioned the, who this might be uh, really messaging to. It's not just about messaging to Hamas that the U.S. has the ability to surge this kind of, uh, uh, to the, the aircraft carrier and the supporting ships and all the personnel and all the aircraft. This is also about messaging the groups who may be supporting Hamas. We've been hearing a lot about Iran over the last several days since this assault first began. Uh, that is because there is, there has been this long-standing relationship between Hamas and Iran. Iran has provided training. They've provi provided equipping. Uh, they've, they have worked with Hamas for years, supporting Hamas. So the big question has been, was Iran in any way directly related to this attack? Now, according to U.S. officials who we've spoken with, and we have asked a lot of them, Hallie, we, they, they are not aware of any direct link, but they do continue to point to this longstanding, years-long relationship between Hamas and Iran. Now, on the issue of this assault, we heard from a senior defense official today about just the, how brutal this assault was. We've been seeing some really difficult uh, video, photos, hearing just heart-wrenching stories from people who family members have been killed or taken hostage. We heard from a senior defense official today who talked a little bit about exactly the sorts of tactics that were used. And this official said that this is ISIS-level savagery that we haven't seen committed, that we have seen committed against Israeli uh, civilians. Houses burned to the ground, young people massacred, at music festivals, and we are also making very clear to adversaries or those that might, might be entertaining entering this conflict, to escalate it, they should think twice and not take advantage of this instability. That's that messaging piece here, Hallie. It yeah. is messaging to people who may be looking to expand this outside of Gaza and Israel. There's also the thing, uh, the, the question that comes up, right, and the thing that will be investigated, I think, for weeks, months, years to come, is was this and how was this such a potential intelligence failure, given that the Israelis have just a highly regarded military and intelligence apparatus in place? And it's not just the, 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 the really, frankly, exquisite intelligence collection capabilities that they have. And it's very extensive. Their network in that area is known. It's known to be extensive and, and pervasive through the area. It's not just that, though. It's also some simple questions like there was a border fence there, a border fence that is it, it's it's strong. It has sensors. It has cameras. It has defense capabilities. It has all of these things. And yet. Hamas and these fighters were not able to breach it in one, but multiple locations all at the same time. At the same time, it was this coordinated attack, multi-pronged attack, and it was all timed together. Also, these fighters who went into those areas with the, these civilians, they seemed to be very highly trained, and they were also coordinated in the way that they were going house to house. So all of that put together, and when you have just the magnitude of the number of fighters who went across the border into Israel, that's one of the reasons that officials are just so so confused about how no one, none of this was able to get out. The number of people, the level of planning involved, it, it's it, that's why people are so surprised that it, that it was able to, intelligence agencies just did not know it was coming, Hallie. Courtney QB live for us at the Pentagon. Uh, I, yeoman's work from you, Court. Thank you for keeping us updated. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.